Hello, this is Al K0CN, and I'm here again with another Alpha product, the Alpha 2000 Dummy Load. We'll take a peek inside in this video and also a look at it under load. The Alpha 2000 is a dry dummy load, and therefore there's no oil or liquid inside the unit. Here I've removed the cover, and you can see a fairly clean layout of 14 resistors and two cooling fans. The fans run off an external 12 volt universal power supply and are thermostatically controlled. They kick in at 120 degrees Fahrenheit or 49 degrees Celsius. The unit handles two minute bursts of RF up to 6,000 watts or it'll run all day at 1,500 watts. You can use the dummy load from 1 megahertz all the way up to 60 megahertz continuously. The dimensions of this unit are 14.25 inches wide by 6.25 inches high by 14.5 inches deep. Now let's connect this unit to my transmitter and take a look. First I've connected the dummy load to my transmitter and applied 200 watts. The Alpha took this easily and measured an SWR of 1.1 to 1 on 80 meters. The maximum SWR was 1.3 to 1 and was typically found to be about 1.1 to 1. Next I activated my Alpha 9500 linear and loaded to 1500 watts. The SWR on all bands was the same whether it was 200 watts or 1500 watts. I didn't push the power level of the amplifier beyond 1700 watts but at the end of this project I still hadn't reached a temperature where the fans turned on. I'm really happy with this unit because it's easy to use and it's rugged enough to handle any power level that I'd ever reasonably want to apply. Well that's about it. That's a look at the Alpha 2000 dummy load. Thanks for watching.